Hey everybody, Zach Wolf here with another great Top 5 Tuesday. So it's one week before Election Day. I'm getting ready to go and vote early. So I thought an appropriate Top 5 Tuesday would be the Top 5 Nonpartisan Ways to Improve Elections in America. Are you ready? Here we go. Number 5. I would get rid of the Electoral College. Of course, this isn't a presidential election year, but I think we should really go to just having the popular vote decide presidential elections. Sure, Alexander Hamilton had some great ideas about the Electoral College, but I think it has outlived its original purpose. And, you know, the last two times when the popular vote has conflicted with the Electoral College, it benefited the Republicans. But of course, the next time it could just as easily go the other way and benefit the Democrats. So it seems to me like it's a nonpartisan thing we ought to be able to agree on. Let's just make it the popular vote. Number four, go back to paper ballots. Now, I like technology as much as anybody. You know, for example, I'm old enough to remember when lawyers had to file everything with courts on paper. That was a huge chore. I love electronic filing, but I'm not a big fan of electronic voting for a couple of reasons. One of them is that, I don't know about you, but when I click that button and submit my electronic vote, I just don't get a confident feeling that I know my vote was properly recorded. And the other thing is, you know, they have yet to figure out a way to hack into a paper ballot. And with all the people out there, whether they're independently acting or sponsored by some foreign government, they're going to try to hack into our elections. We know that. So I just feel like it's time to, to go back to the paper ballots. And yes, of course, we all remember Bush versus Gore and all the problems with the paper ballots in Florida. But even so, I think it would just give people a more confident feeling in our elections if we went back to that. Number three, get rid of partisan gerrymandering of congressional districts. Now, of course, gerrymandering has been around a long time. Both parties have been guilty of it. I get it, but there's got to be a way we can figure out how to draw congressional districts in a more neutral manner that doesn't game the system in favor of one party or the other. Let's find a way to do that. Number two, make election day a national holiday. Yeah, I know we've already got probably too many holidays, but shouldn't we really prioritize election day as one of them? You know, for people like me, I'm a lawyer, I'm a professional, it's not that big a deal for me to take off some time away from the office to vote, but for a lot of people, it is a big deal. So. I say let's make it a national holiday so we can make it easier for people to vote. Finally, the number one nonpartisan way to improve U.S. elections, well this one's actually a little bit local to Texas. I would get rid of the system we have of electing our trial court judges. It's just not a good system. For one thing, do any of the voters who are not lawyers really even know anything much about the candidates they're voting for. I mean, even the lawyers don't usually know the judicial candidates that well. So there's got to be a better system. And there's got to be a way we can avoid the unpleasant spectacle of judicial candidates having to raise money from the lawyers who practice in their courts. That's just a bad look. So I don't know exactly what the answer is and how to change it, but we need to get rid of these elections of our state court trial judges. So those are my top five. Am I wrong? Am I right? Do you have a better suggestion for a nonpartisan way to improve our elections? Hey, let me know, and thanks for watching.